what is aurora borealis what is the significance does it only happen in the northern regions or anywhere else aurora borealis it's been in the news of late hasn't it uh, there have been these solar storms uh, geomagnetic storms that uh, the earth has uh, been facing the brunt of the past week or so and auroras have been very visible uh, in various parts of the world auroras were visible from northern india from ladakh can you imagine that i haven't heard about uh, such a such an occurrence in my living memory auroras auroras vis- visible from india so what is the aurora borealis is it does is it a phenomenon that only uh, occurs in the northern hemisphere not so that's not not quite the case there is something called the aurora australis as well which is visible from uh, the southern hemisphere from the south pole region now what is this phenomenon it's essentially the northern lights the southern lights you see lights shimmering in the atmosphere it's typically green you also have blue you also have pink and you also have various other colors but it's typically the major color that you typically see is green so what causes the these this magical display of shimmering waving light of various colors it is the interaction of the earth the earth's magnetic field and the atmosphere with the solar wind so then we have to understand what the solar wind is the solar wind is plasma that is emitted by the sun on an on an ongoing continuous basis the sun has an atmosphere let's say i mean there is a there is a region if you go towards the sun then you will reach a region where the sun becomes denser than water but the sun has various layers and one of the layers can be called the the you could consider it to be the atmosphere of the sun and there are various phenomena that that exist over there the sun has a very powerful really really powerful magnetic field and you can see the magnetic lines of force in in terms of the solar prominences and all that and the sun ejects millions of tons of plasma uh, per second i guess and what is plasma it is essentially bits and pieces of hydrogen atoms essentially free protons and electrons that's what solar wind is that's what the plasma is so all of this is emitted by the sun in all directions that's one phenomenon that happens all the time then you have a uh, coronal mass ejections which are these these loops of matter that come out of the sun's uh, surface and sometimes these loops break off depending on the magnetic field activity and then there's this massive amount of solar material that's that's ejected in a certain direction and if it is coming towards earth then well that causes various uh, phenomena so you have the solar wind you have coronal mass ejections and you then you have uh, solar prominences uh, and you have the the emission of various kinds of radiation typically very high energy radiation gamma radiation visible radiation ultraviolet radiation from the sun and so on so now when the solar wind uh, comes towards the earth then the earth itself has a magnetic field which is way weaker than the sun's magnetic field and these charged particles because they are charged they will interact with the earth's magnetic field and they, and you will see that these particles generally are dragged or are pulled by the magnetic field the earth's magnetic field towards the polar regions so this stream this constant stream of charged particles plasma it converges in the polar regions because of the magnetic field of the earth and then it hits the earth's atmosphere at various heights and various speeds and that's what causes this this glowing display of light so w- when uh this solar wind interacts with the earth's atmosphere at let's say around 300 kilometers above the surface it will give you a certain kind of light sometimes it will be blue depending oxygen at which altitude what kind of interaction is there that gives you different colors of light nitrogen also so i think oxygen at 100 kilometers above the earth's surface if it interacts with the, with the plasma solar wind it gives off green light somewhat higher about 300 kilometers it's, it's blue light and nitrogen gives off various colors and the same thing the same phenomenon happens at the south pole in the south polar regions as well but when there is a massive amount of plasma coming in because of solar you know uh augmented solar activity then you may see these uh, displays of light even at the uh, southern i mean at, at the latitudes that are closer to the equator and which is how we had the recent phenomenon where we saw auroras from northern india from ladakh so that essentially is the aurora borealis aurora australis it's the, because of the interaction of the solar wind this plasma with the atmosphere of the earth and it happens it happens near the polar regions because of the interaction of this 
plasma with the earth's magnetic field the earth magnetic field drags it and pulls it towards the polar regions where it starts impacting the atmosphere of the earth and that's what causes the phenomenon 